simply the Lisa, but given the particulars of the creation. Yeah! Wait! Are you screaming at me or Leonardo? I believe he is addressing you. Well, why do you say that? I've never encountered this man before, and it sounds as though the two of you are well acquainted. Not to mention that he appeared out of thin air, highly suggestive of uh, time travel. You really are a genius. Have you ever thought about doing a web series? A series of uh, a series of webs? I'm not familiar with. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! How did the brain dead likes of you manage to thwart my efforts at every turn? Well, just now I painted some eggs, and then I tricked some clowns into juggling them, which caused enough. If you had been half this effective while we were building the machine, none of this would have had to happen! I mean, honestly, I think the bigger problem is your weird obsession with plumbing. Excuse me? It's kind of hard to take these inventions seriously when they all look like a bathroom. Like, even right now. Not super intimidating. Not intimidating. Not intimidating! I'll show you intimidating! Die! Kelvin, come in. You're disintegrated, are you? Please, it's Lupin. He, uh, he... I know, he broke out of the temporal stasis field. He's kidnapped Leonardo, Newton, and Beethoven. We're all trapped in his vault. Also, apparently Lupin has a vault. I'll find him and I'll convince him to surrender. I think I can get through to him. Kelvin, the man built a battle mech out of a bathtub. There's no getting through to him. Listen carefully. We have a plan, but we need a few things from you. A wheel, a magnet, and... Uh, Mr. Beethoven, what did you need from Kelvin again? What? Speak up. What do you need from Kelvin? A horn. A what? A horn. What are you, Tim? A horn for some reason. I'll text you the list. Also, before Lupin captured me, I configured the time machine to loop through its last three destinations. When you've got everything we need, just hit the manual override to come home. Wait, what was the manual override again? Turn the cold water on full blast. What? I think I'd rather destroy the universe. Kelvin, get moving. I'll buzz you whenever Lupin's closing in on your location. Well, there's our horn. Too bad they decided to lock this case after I stole the flute. Oh, man. If these had been here before, I could have looked even fancier. What am I going to do with this? Shake it at people who are driving too fast? Stop, Aaron, boy! I'm a time-traveling jewel thief! Whoa! The corners of this are crazy sharp! We meet again, Mr. Magnet. It's an enormous magnet. Consider this your exit interview. <laughs> hey, I remember these from geometry class. They're it's usually for drawing circles. Mm, that's 
really stuck on there. I'll need some leverage to get it off. Score one for simple machines. You're trying my patience. Pretty sure Leonardo didn't invent this one. I guess now it's for cutting circles. That impresario dude is going to be mad. Please, I found everything. Great work, Helvin. Toss the stuff in first. I don't want that magnet interfering with your bio signal. What the? Behold, idiot! The symphonic spider! It will feature prominently in my next fan fiction, in which Larry Platter is forced to... Can it wait, Isaac? There's an awful lot at stake. No one ever appreciates my craft. Formation, people! Lupin is incoming! Oh, how convenient! Now I can destroy all of you at once! Give it up, boss! You're outmanned and outgunned! Outgunned? Ha <laughs> ha! By what? You built a Frankenstein's piano! Says the kook in the walking bus stop. Kook! I'm the most stable person in the room! Clearly. That's it! So long, so-called geniuses! Ludwig, now! What? Now! Oh, right! <sighs> At least, I still have mini golf. We did it! I can't believe it! A fine job, time traveler. Your uh, Toby appearance belies an unexpected competence. We are indebted to you, Kelvin. You have inspired each one of us to continue our work with a renewed vigor. Whatever. I still think he's a moron. Helvin, you just saved us. You just saved the universe. Well, you did all the important science stuff, Lise. All I did was use random objects on other random objects until everything worked out. But don't you see, my boy, that is science. No, it's not. It's not even close. Would you shut up? I'm trying to encourage him. Kelvin, this is a violation of typical workplace etiquette, and to be clear, is by no means an obligation of mine to reward your heroism, but regardless. Great job, Kelvin.